Hello. Hi, everybody. Tonight, I'm going to do a really quick supper. I'm going to take some beef kielbasa. Now, you can use um, any type of smoked sausage, beef, whatever you want to do this. So, you take your sausage out, and then I cut it like this and make little circles. You see how I'm making the little circles? Go all the way around it and cut these little circles like this. That way it cooks and gets crunchy on all sides of it. So I'm going to throw it over here. I've got some water steaming up in my pot there. So we're just going to go around through here and cut this. Put it all in there. It's going to be a fast little supper tonight. We're going to have this. I cook the meat first now. Cook this. I steam it up with some water in the bottom of the pan. And when I think it's pretty well getting done, all that water will steam out of there. And I'll get a good little crispy crunch on the little pieces of sausage. And I've seen people uh, make this sausage like this at breakfast time. We don't normally eat it for breakfast. We like it more for like dinner. And I'm going to add sauerkraut to it tonight. And we got some, a homemade jar. We, uh, Tony grew the cabbage in his garden this year. And his cousin helped him make sauerkraut. And then I canned it. So we're going to try the first jar of that sauerkraut tonight. Okay, so here's, I got all my circles cut up. I'm going to put them over here in my pan. And we're going to let that cook a minute. Just stir this up and we're going to let that cook a few minutes. And then I'm going to come right back at y'all. Alright, I'll let y'all see. There, there it is cooking, steaming up with all the water. We're going to just let it keep on cooking until all the steam goes out of it. And then it's going to get crispy, crunchy. All right, let y'all see. Most of the water's gone out. It's getting crispy and crunchy now. So now what I'm going to do is take and open this jar of sauerkraut. Now this is homemade sauerkraut. And I'm going to add this to this pan. Let's see if I can move y'all over here a little bit closer. Alright, I'm going to just get me a fork here. Oh, we packed that sauerkraut down good. about four. And we're going to let this sauerkraut cook down a little bit. I'll probably put a lid on it here. I'll go ahead and put a lid on it. We're just going to cook it on about four. Let that sauerkraut and them flavors uh, blend in right there. And then we're going to have us a little meal. Alright y'all. Look at there. I scooped some out that. Now that's homemade sauerkraut cooked up with that kibasi. Mm, mm -mm. Now I already took one little bite because it's hot. But mm, that's hot. Mm. 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 Y'all 
That's good right there. And this is keto. Keto friendly right there. That's a good meal right there for diabetics. All right. Talk to y'all later.